what's going on guys boy turbo reacts here and i'm back with another hunter hunter reaction today we're gonna jump into episode 45 and um i think i'm gonna do probably about three or four episodes today to be out tomorrow um so i'm trying to churn out as much reactions as i can for these um monday tuesday wednesday so you might see some anime on wednesday so make sure you look out for some anime on wednesday okay so um so right now what's going on in under hunter we got kuripika arc still going great arc so far this guy uh uvo uvo gang uvo jin <laughs> whatever you want to pronounce his name he's a beast he's a monster of course master um enhancer that is this destroyed the mob destroyed the shadow beast i mean he's just that good and then kuripika just stepped up boom just captured him with a chain yeah kuripika is sauce yes <laughs> he's that good but it's all about um you know i like the points that you guys made in the comment on the last video you know um responding to how i was responding to nen itself as in it's not about Nen is not about strength. It's about outsmarting. Yes, a person with unbelievable strength can can beat you, but if I can out outsmart you in the way how I use Nen, I could still beat you. So it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not about power. This is not Dragon Ball Z where power levels are all it's, it's all about. Oh, your power level is higher than mine? Oh, I'm just going to train till I get a higher power level than yours so I can beat you. So it's all about power, power, power. Who's stronger in Dragon Ball Z? Here, it's a magic system that depends on purely on your intelligence, on your intelligence and what you can create with Nen is purely up to you. You can be a dummy like the guys that got beat up by Killua and 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 Gun in the Heavens Arena, or you can be a strategist. You can be a strategist, right? You could be. It's just unbelievable the unlimited potential of the magic system in this, which is Nen. So I'm gonna jump into these episodes, man, to see what what's gonna take place now that he's captured. Ooh. Again, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna try to probably torture him. I don't know. Um, you know, they're gonna ask him questions, of course, which you know he's not gonna answer. He's not gonna give up his 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 people. You know what I'm saying? They seem very tight knit. Seem like they care about each other in in some way or some fashion. Even though they're a band of thieves, kind of come off as they kind of care about each other, don't they? Because they keep you know they ask Evogen, um, Evogen, whatever you wanna call him. Um, they ask him for if he needed help and you know and stuff like that like they kind of seem like they care about each other even though they're they're a band of thieves so i'm jumping to this episode man make sure you come back and check out the review after you go and watch the reaction of course thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys for the review All right, so first, let me apologize, guys, for, uh, you know, I didn't want to really pause through the um, through the recording there on that last episode. Of course, I didn't want to. I don't like pausing during fights, um, but as you as you can see what was happening, like freaking Crunchyroll, I don't know what is it about their website i just do not like them and i think i'm gonna switch up and maybe go to verve or something like that uh but then again verve might be you know what i'm saying streaming from crunchyroll because they're kind of like i don't know partner sites or whatever um but kuripika is op man he's op period um <sighs> And we learned another aspect of Nen. Is that something that only conjurers can do? Put conditions on their stuff? If that's... I mean... If that's something that all categories can do... I mean... 
I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say because that was... I mean, I thought this was going to be a different type of fight. I didn't know it was going to be a Uvo beatdown. It was a Uvo beatdown. He was outclassed, outmatched in every single way that you can think about this fight. He didn't stand a chance. <sighs> the episode, the, the, the fight lasted pretty much half an episode. Half an episode. It was a beatdown. It was a no contest. Come on, man. This anime... It's too good. I don't think I have nothing else to say in this review really than that fight. Really great animation. Um, learning a lot more about these nan abilities. What they did to go back to get Uvo and stuff like that. Like, um, As I said before, man, during during the reaction, I was saying, hey, Kuro, pick a punch this guy in the face. That changes a lot because if a sword can't cut him, but Kuropika could hit him in the face like that and let him bleed. But then again, I was saying that maybe he let Kuropika hit him. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, in all respect, he was outclassed. And finding out that Kuropika is a specialist because of his eyes, when his eyes turn red, he becomes a specialist, man. That's dope. Emperor Time. Oh my god. Mmm. Man. That's dope. The most unlikely character that I expected to be a specialist is a specialist. So that's so dope. Um there's so much about this anime that I love that I you know that I really admire that the writer takes, you know time to actually think it out and to you know and the good job that you know the story does to explain these things to you because i love when you don't really know certain things and then it's explained you know either during a fight or whatever the situation is i love those kind of connection because it helps you it's like the reveal is just so much it's so much better it's so much more surprising it's so much more you know great and i mean kuropika is a highlight of these three episodes man i hope you guys enjoyed um watching this with me man it, it was a great three episodes all about kuropika and uvo of course um and we got to see where um it looks like they're looking for their look yeah, they're looking for um, Gun and Killua and Leorio. They're looking for, sorry about that. I thought I heard somebody at the door. Um, yeah, they're looking for the 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 troop member. It looked like the mafia put a um, a hit. Well, not really a hit. It's more like a bounty hunt, as Killua described it, um, on the spider troop members that attacked the um that attacked the auction right so that's where we are with those characters so i guess we're gonna pick up where that is left off i guess so i'm looking forward to that of course it's been great man it's been great these episodes were dope i thank you guys for tuning in of course man hope you guys enjoyed that reaction as much as i did it was awesome um watching those three episodes and that fight was just unbelievable the setting with the red moon ooh, 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 ooh. it give you that that nasty face ooh. you know what i'm saying um shout out to madhouse again man they do incredible animation like incredible 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 they have to be um one of the top studios for that anime saw it, that that you know animes they they seek after our production companies seek after when it comes on to when they're gonna start um animating a manga you know so definitely shout out to them everything from the the music the everything the anger the disgust the voice acting everything was on point 
for these um, three episodes, man. It was cool. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Just remember to like and comment on this video, okay? I will see you guys later. You are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.